Such videocy. Hello and welcome for more Boyfriend Dungeon here on VC. It is Maddie along with Dylan. And I'm at the controls once again. And hey, if you're enjoying this, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I don't have to tell you why to YouTube, but I would like to advise you to head over to twitch.tv slash VC and follow us over there as well. Well, cool. Oh, an Amethyst business suit as well. I made the vodka. Perfect. Wanna get that business suit? Maybe. Also, could you leather the jacket? We're definitely doing the leather jacket. Take the fuck to Hawaii on a fabric. Oh. That's weird considering it's usually made out of like cowhide. Can we do the business suit? Sure. We're doing the business suit. I got it. Can we do anything else? Oh, we got so cufflinks and a sleep time zine. Let's do it. Why would we need a sleep? Didn't we do that already? Or not? Oh, we don't have the sleep time one. Oh. Because okay. it requires fabric and we just got fabric. What does that one do? Who knows? A warm uh, puts most monsters to sleep. Might be useful. It might be. I do like the bomb. Like if you have a big crowd and you want to escape. Let's see. I new stuff. That looks really nice. What? That looks really nice. That also looks really nice. <laughs> I'm not going in a dungeon in a business suit. <laughs> Why not? I'm going in a cute mini dress. <laughs> well, you're going. Well, you're probably going to be going on dates right now. Cool. Wait, do I have any new hats? Uh, we have a bike helmet. <laughs> Beautiful. I guess not. I like the boy. I kind of like the bucket hat. Wait, wait, wait! Look at the boy. It and it gets thrown in the dark. Wait, the clothes actually do have effects. Carry more beverages, but fewer zines. What do our clothes do? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just, just the new stuff. Okay, hold on. Our clothes don't seem to be doing anything. Is it only the hats? At least for now. Huh. I didn't even notice that. I'm tempted to put the bike helmet on, though, because I want more drinks. Yeah, that's nice, but it looks dumb. Well. I oh, know, but... The boy looks good. Fine. It does mean less zines, so. Mm. Uh, Jesse oh. doesn't have anything. Oh. You already read all that? Okay. That's my fault. I've been thinking a lot, and I've decided, for sure. I don't want you to die. Not planning on it. Ah, yeah, so wanna hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. Okay. I really wish I could choose my responses. Meet you at the beach at nine. Sunshades emoji. I'll go meet you after we date everyone else. Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will heal itself soon. What are you up to? Don't know. Doesn't matter. One. Lunch? I should probably eat. I'll be a kicks. Sick. Uh, Isaac also. A company I invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicer, the dating app for weapons. Am I invited? Of course. I hope you can attend. It's at the Ver Verona Ballroom. See you there. I guess we're going. It's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor. We don't get a choice of. I didn't even get to check mom's messages. You realize you aren't sure what to wear to an investor's party. Uh oh. You agonize over your closet, putting on random fancy clothes. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you put on the first outfit back, and you put back, you put the first outfit back on, and run out the door. The lobby looks packed. Strange, considering we're on the street, it seems. With an unusual crowd of young software types, the entry is blocked. Private event tonight. You on the list? There with Brooks Associates. The act knows everyone, huh? I didn't realize that was the same bouncer. Isaac kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. All this for you? Me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was for his favorite charity. Where is he? <coughs> a familiar face approaches with a smile. Uh -huh. I see Slicer invited. True VIPs. Vidyak, is this weapon your date? He's more than just a weapon. He sure is. Deep pockets, too. A fine catch of a sword. 
I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man. Hmm? Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. How does that ass know you, anyway? He owns a weapon oh, shop. Oh my, so there's more to his story. I don't remember how I did Isaac's dad's voice. Me neither. Isaac, what is this hellscape? The whiskeys all have multiple malts. Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civil conversation? And this is most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. You told me Dr. Muffin III would be here. Uh, well, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school. What have I seen? Someone taps the microphone and the music is turned off. A slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the profit and sword smooching. Vincent marches out the door. The slicer executive starts listing all the hardship they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks' associates by name and a special thank you for his generosity. Applause breaks out as the speech ends. Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also reduce inheritance. But where'd my father go? Don't worry about it. If only it were that easy. I'd love to pick a dialogue option that says, I don't care what he thinks. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistants are talking. Oh, Vincent and Isaac's assistant are talking. And that's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious. Father. Oh, hi, uh, Isaac. I'm gonna go. Ah, oh, my worthless son. Are you done with your farce? I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing over how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner. Unless... Don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Vincent gestures in your general direction without looking at you. I'm the disaster? Leave Vidyak out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. Funding these boards isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. Vincent gets in a town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Are you okay? I'm alright. I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing with him is ever simple. Come on, let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. He offers you his elbow with a small bow. Yeah. Hold on, I have it I just saw it up in a more powerful mood. And perhaps a small gift for a special friend? A blue flower! I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I'd like you to have it. Thanks! Wonderful. Now, let's see what kind of music that DJ has still to play, hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. Oh, you didn't come back to the... Wait. If I spent the whole evening with him, does that mean I missed out on the other two dates? <laughs> Don't worry, time doesn't matter. I had a great time last night. Thanks again for coming. Thanks for inviting me. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me why, though. Are you okay, sweetie? I'm fine. I'm sure you can handle it, but maybe I can help? What's wrong? With the boyfriend, I mean. <laughs> I think he's lying to me. <laughs> Exclamation point. Not to my baby, he's not. You don't talk to that person anymore. You deserve better. Manipulative people are bad company. Bad company. I know it's easier said than done, but take care of yourself. Good luck out there, sweetie. Thanks. Anyway, we'll go on a date with Sunder. Oh, you want to do Sunder or Kicks? I mean, Seven. I, I, I may as well go on a date with Sunder uh, since he's the I one got flying. Go. Uh, I love fun. Oh, Bevan Shield. I thought I healed fully. It's not a bad look. Yeah. Wait, you know what would go great with this, though? <laughs> I was about to say the suit. <laughs> what about the suit? What about the pink dress? What about the... Oh, yeah, that's that book. I'm going to the beach in a suit. <laughs> Good choice, pal. <laughs> it's 
suited and booted for the beach, baby. <laughs> the beach this way. <laughs> you find Sunder and Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! What's yeah, so being alive is the best, right? I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead, statistically. That's a lot of people. Really, a lot. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. Are you really trying to be more goth than me? No, I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Then let's live it up. And that's what I'm talking about. Vidyak, what's the moment in your life when you felt most alive? When I fucked a dagger the other day. You spend time chatting, looking out over the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's a silence and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Slender. How about a snack? Are they both vampires? Mandy looks at you curiously. What kind of food? I like my food fresh and locally sourced. Verona Beach has a few options. Oh, they're both vampires. Cut it out, Mandy. Oh, no, they're both... What? You haven't told poor Vidyak about our little hobby? Oh, no, they're both vampires. <sighs> Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself. Just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in summer. Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. What hobby? I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean, chilly against your skin. Well, I do. He pointedly ignores what you said and instead rubs your arms gently. Sunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps relax you a little. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. Oh, we got shades. Here, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. What? And I know you said you want the truth. I've been thinking about that. Yeah, you're a vampire. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It looks like he started to shiver. Let's just forget about this and I'll walk you home where it's warm. You walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. You give him his jacket back. He puts it on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a second, okay? Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually right now I get the summertime blues, but with you, I feel so alive. Bleeding does more damage. No. Okay. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask, can I come up? Do we... Invite a vampire into our home? Oh my god. Oh. And do what? Or we can watch some net TV or talk. On the bed. <laughs> so, what's your final answer? Should we have a good time tonight or no? Okay, let's go. Can I get in a few kisses here? If you're a vampire, you lay on the street. Wood. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> you linger on the street corner before leading him upstairs. Oh no! He waits outside the apartment politely until you invite him in. in. He's a vampire. Wow, I like your place. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I just want to treat you right. You spend the evening together. He's athletic and attentive, singularly focused on making you feel good. You notice his skin and blade remain strangely cold to the touch, no matter how long you cuddle. You snuggle up and kiss a few extra dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. Can't wait till next time, but got some things to do tonight. Later, hotness. He lets himself out and you soon fall asleep. You fucked your dagger and a vampire. I lead a good life. <laughs> I just wanted to say, you're cooler the more I get to know you, so thanks. Woes. Let's dunge. You're a vampire. I didn't mean to click on that. 
Uh, let's check out the sunglasses real quick. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. What do they do? And bl- oh my god, that's badass. That's the- that is bad- <laughs> Imagine he's out there in the coffee wait, though, shop Wait like though, wait though, wait though. That's pretty cool, too. But imagine the pin in the coffee shop with the freaking suit on and sunglasses. And it's like, oh, man. Secret agent, man. Secret <laughs> Oh, my God. Agent. We're going to have a lightsaber. There's, oh, there's some freaking men in black shit. You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. Hi, Severin. Oh, it's you. Hey. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly. So... There's an awkward silence. So, uh, what's your favorite Blade Generation album? What's Blade Generation? Seven smiles as if it's a joke. Wait, you're serious? Oh. Uh, Blade Generation is my band from Korea. Double platinum. No big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? Do you watch net TV? Monsters of Killing takes time. Yeah, maybe it'll take less time as you get better. Oh well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Um, we have Let's a lot of... You want some stuff. fried mackerel? Fried <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> Do you want to offer him one? I'll pop it up. Well, he doesn't seem like a soup guy. I don't think he'd be a mackerel guy. Do you want to do, uh, do you want to give our vodka away already? Yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, vodka. That's actually kind of cool. Thanks. So we're done here then. Let's done. Uh, let's done sometime. Yeah, we can try that, I guess. But seven shrugs. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for our comeback in the fall. I don't know if I can risk going back to the dungeon. My agent would sue if I got any scars. He takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but they used the wrong milk. Ask them to fix it. Uh, no, talk to a stranger more than I have. Reasonable! No way. Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me. The cashier approaches your table nervously. Uh huh. Hey, um, sorry to bother you, but you're Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Hi, Olivia. So, no many friends on us? Seven looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's a slight panic in his eyes. Uh, yeah, he is. Seven grits his teeth a little. Oh, my. Oh, yes, stop. Oh, yes, stop making a big deal. Maybe even Sung Woo is here, too? Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. Are you okay? Whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. I wish you hadn't said that, but... I guess there's still the dunge, if you want to. The monsters won't bring paparazzi. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess it up. Defense in combat, energy bolt down to the nearby enemy. Seven slouches out, met by an expensive looking car outside. <clears throat> you head home. I love you, Dan. Fucking mention. Exactly! Sunder's saying us hot. Seven hates us. I'm sorry. I was trying to bring him out of his shell. You know, a little you bit. know she probably still will like that. He said no. Heart. Hmm, is that too much? Eggplant. I know you. Looking at woes. Never going to kicks again, so hope you have other ideas. Uh. Speech? No, vampires are at the beach. A uh, movie? Good idea, maybe sometime. I'll think about it and get back to you. Do I have time to donge or. Well, I told yeah. So? All I got to do was date. <laughs> That's your job, sir. You date items. I'm going to dungeon. An extra long episode. No! The lightsaber. No, I, I need a done run. He's my lightsaber. No, we can go five more minutes. Fine. I have a lot more. I got full nine. I'm going down on seven. With seven. With seven. Hey, look, you're the one who said if you're a vampire, I've got wood. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but that was a good accidental pump. Man, that looks really cool. And we look bad. Oh, we can fight this. We can fight the boss again. Dodge. He seems to be a mix of like Sonda and Isaac with his combos. With like wide attack, but also piercing. Feels good. Oh, silver and rusty. See, it was worth fighting them again. I didn't know you could fight them again. Dude, how badass do we look right now, though? Barry. Do a sick beat. I wonder what other types of bells he's really gonna get. Well, bells he's gonna get. Well. Should I do this challenge? Always. That's all I need. That's a big AOE. That was another challenge. Be careful, servant says. We got a light to that. Oh yeah, I forgot we had this at the same time. I wonder what other types of weapons we're gonna get. Think we're gonna get any like blunt weapons ever? Any blunt weapons? Yeah. I don't know, I think we're gonna get an axe. Maybe. I feel like if we're gonna get an axe, it'll be like the next one we saw. Maybe not. Exactly, you could do all this dodge on one one before you even meet Jonah. So maybe he's in here being like the next dunge. Wait, that's just two dollars! Sorry. Can't miss two dollars. I, I know, I, just, I looked away for a second and didn't realize it was there. That's most the price of the seafood. On ice cream shop. Hey, seven, you want ice cream? Hmm, doesn't even look freezer burned. It looks fresh, handmade even. But I'm not supposed to. Ice cream's like the best way to gain weight. That and rice. If we ask secret. Ah, I wish. My agent has an app that tracks my vitals. I feel like you should. And she can fire me if I gain even two pounds, so no such thing as an ice cream secret. But that's okay. I'll keep an eye out for other secrets we can share. He smiles at some unspoken thought. For now, we have work to do. It looks pretty cool. Should I gift him or should I just go on? Mm, maybe just go on. He's almost max level. Uh, I don't think there's anything left over there. Just down. Down we go to the next section with cassette tapes. That played music or something. No, I'm telling you, it's a fucking videotape. That's a videotape. It doesn't look like a, it doesn't look like an audio cassette. I don't know the difference. I saw big ones that look like videotapes. 
Uh, they're the videotapes, and those are the audio ones. Uh, I don't know. I'm dead, though. All right, thanks for checking out this edition of Boyfriend Dungeon. We will video see you. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Thank you for watching. Now we invite you to do all that good stuff. Comment, subscribe, like. Just letting you know, not trying to be rude. I don't have to tell you how to YouTube. But please tune in for the next show. We'll be back with more video see before you know. For Maddie and Dylan, etc. At all, we will video see you. Peace out, y'all.